to the final episode of the Sci-Fi Invasion, where I successfully watched all 50 movies and reviewed all 50 movies in this 50 movie box set from Mill Creek. It has been a wild ride. Now for you, this has been a year. Now for me, this has been six months. And uh, the last uh, six months for you was two weeks for me. I recorded these all in June because I'm trying to work on bigger stuff for what's going to be for you in the next couple of weeks. For me, it's six months from now. So hopefully, I have successfully done everything I've attempted to do. We'll see. Well, you'll see in the next couple couple of weeks. Wow, this this has been this has been pretty intense. Quentin is just quivering with excitement. Without further ado, let's talk about this movie. This is uh, I'm glad we're talking about something I actually like. Abraxas was the last movie, and I hate that movie. But this one I actually like. It's a Rocky Jones flick. If you've been watching this series for the past year, you know I actually really dig these Rocky Jones movies. Um, and this is one, I thought I hadn't seen it before, but as I was watching it, it, it started to come back to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen this one. Uh, this one's called Silver Needle in the Sky. And interesting thing about this one is all the other movies are edited from episodes of a TV show with new intros and outros. This is not the same as those ones. They actually left the intro from the TV series intact and complete with chapter one uh, because these, these episodes are typically in three parts, which I thought was very odd. I was wondering if it was going to have like interruptions throughout the story saying like chapter two, but they didn't do that. Uh, those chapter markers were taken out, all except for the first one. It was odd, but the ending of the movie was actually what was the same. It was just the end credits of the TV series. It was like, tune in next week for another thrilling adventure of Rocky Jones, Space Ranger, blah, blah, blah. And that was, that was interesting. I'm wondering if all the movie versions, like, they're all, like, some of them actually have movie credits and some don't. I don't know. I should really check this out in the future. I think uh, I think I should make a, a Rocky Jones video that no one will watch but me. That could be fun. But uh, let's talk about the plot of this one. Much like the other movies in the Rocky Jones series, I feel that this... W when people say that this was the prototype for Star Trek, I can really see it. Like, Forbidden Planet definitely laid the blueprint, <laughs> the blueprint more than anything else. But I can definitely see a young Gene Roddenberry watching this and being like, I want to do this, but better. The movie opens up with Rocky Jones and his team getting ready to take uh, some intergalactic ambassadors to a space station for uh, a conference. And uh, there's some shenanigans where like the, the, the girl character, I forget her name, uh, she wants to be a part of it, but she's not sure she's invited. And Rocky Jones, of course, the subtle sexism of Rocky Jones, that's like, it's funny. He, he's like, oh, you better pack your lipstick. And that actually comes into play later in the movie. That's Chekhov's gun. The lipstick is Chekhov's gun. Uh, comes into play in the third act. And then they the do the same thing with the little boy. He wants to come too. And they eventually go and drop off all these ambassadors at the space station. And these ambassadors are all dressed like the Monopoly guy. It's so funny because it's all, it's all future in science fiction. I just dropped my phone. It's all future in science fiction and people still dress like the Monopoly guy, which is very quaint even by like the standards of just 20 years after the show would come out. The evil queen that's like the villain in most of these episodes, she finds out about it and she's pissed that she's not invited to this thing, even though she's been causing problems for Rocky Jones and this like intergalactic space core for, for decades. For all I know. So she wants she, she she sends her goons to hold all these guys hostage while Rocky Jones is away because he's gonna go in shortly. Eventually has a bad feeling and comes back and he rescues everybody. And the the goons try to kidnap one of the ambassadors, um, but they think they kill him, which they did which he did which they didn't. He took a pill that oh, let me let me get the right wordage because it was a funny 
It's a funny word. He took a suspended animation capsule, which is just a funny concept in my opinion. But yeah, uh, they, the goons think they killed him, so they return back to the Evil Queen's planet. But they trap Rocky Jones and the ambassadors in a room with no oxygen. And they use the little boy to climb through the vents. And he gets to the vents, and he can't get through this one point because it's, like, blocked off. And you're like, hey, just, just push it. You, you know, just got to push it, little kid. And he's just like, I can't. I'm too weak. We and, and, and they're like, use your head. And the kid goes, I shall use my head. And then he just starts breaking the bars with his, with his cranium. And he saves the day. And that's pretty much the whole movie. Uh, and I, I had a blast with it. All these, all these Rocky Jones flicks are a lot of fun, in my opinion. I hope you like them. I, I've recommended, recommended them quite enough, I think. But, um, yeah, that's the movie. Uh, ending, ending on a good note, for me at least. What's next? Well, next week, I'm going to upload a big retrospective of this series. I'm going to talk about every movie I watched on here. I'm going to talk about my feelings of what the experience of doing this was like. And we're probably going to pick out some notable comments that I really liked. I'm really looking forward to what's coming in the future. And thank you guys for, for sitting here and being patient and watching this series of 50... Actually, when it's all said and done, it's going to be 53 videos. But, um, yeah, thank you for, for watching this past year. I hope to have better stuff in the very near future. Uh, I'll see you next time. Remember, please be kind and rewind.